courthouse every day of the week to make sure that we get justice for this black woman. But really, y'all, this is a black about black women, and even though we got these strong black men standing in support of our black women, this effort is and will continue to be led by our black queens. So I want to bring up two of the most dynamic, the most beautiful, the most articulate, and the most brilliant black queens anywhere in America. We have Monique Presley from Washington, D.C., and we have Tamika Mallory from New York City and from Antia Freedom. Y'all get them from Houston Love. Baytown. It's good to see you here. Thank you for coming out. How many of you people know we have the power? You know, we fight the powers, but we have the power. So everywhere I go this year, I'm reminding myself, as I remind you, we have the power. When we do what we're doing today, we can't be stopped. When we come together in unity, we will not be stopped. How many people know knowledge is power? You know, as, as terrible as what happened to Pam Turner right back there across the street is, you know she's not the first black woman to die at the hands of law enforcement, right? You know we don't even really know the full number of how many black women have died at the hands of law enforcement because they don't even bother to count us. So the Washington Post in 2015 started doing a count, y'all. They started trying to figure out why if black people were only 13% of the population, 20% of the women being killed were black. So they found out from 2015 to now, 51 of our queens have been killed by the police. Now we don't hear about this, right? Because we know that more of our brothers are being killed by police, being shot, being tased, being arrested falsely than women. Only 4% of us are being killed. But you know what, y'all? 20% of them are black. 4% of women are being killed by police. 20% of them are black. Who knows that ain't right? What is it about our bodies that's so threatening that the only thing they can do is kill us? What are they afraid of that when we get the power, this entire system will be turned not upside down, but right side up? They know that black women have been the backbone of this country since the first ship came over onto this ground. So we're under attack. And it has to stop. Not just a Tatiana Jefferson, not just Brianna, not just Pam. It goes back to the 20s and 30s, y'all. Police stopping us, sexually assaulting us, and calling us prostitutes. It goes back to when they couldn't find our men, so they hung us instead. It goes back to when we were on the streets being trafficked, and and they found out that we were being trafficked by the police. We're stopped more than white women. When they see us, they tested the police and found out when they look at me, they see me as a criminal more readily than they see their delicate white flowers. But white people commit more crimes. Tell them, Monique, break it down, break it down, Monique. Now these are the facts. We got to put some truth and some power on these facts so the people where I come from in Washington, D.C., and the Power Center for Finance where Tamika comes from, all the way over, to all the uttermost parts of the land know that we are not going to stand for this anymore. It has to stop at some point, and I say that point is now. Do you say it's now? Somebody say it stops now. 
Now, I founded an organization called In Defense of Black Women and Girls because I know that if nobody else protects us, we got to protect ourselves. So they're going to see me until they get tired of seeing me. And it's my privilege right now to turn the mic over to someone who really needs no introduction. She's my baddest sister, just bad, bad, bad to the bone. But you know what? The reason why she's so bad is because she's committed. Amen. She don't take no stuff either. Amen. She stands in the face of law enforcement, of threats, of misunderstanding, of persecution, and she still fights for us. Amen. So I'm going to give her her flowers while I can. Amen. Thank you, Tamika D. Mallory, for all that you do. Somebody say thank you, Tamika. Thank you until freedom. It's my pleasure to give you Tamika D. Mallory. Thank you so much. Let's give Monique Presley, attorney Monique Presley, a round of applause. Y'all can do better than that. Y'all can do better than that. Yeah. So one of the things that I've, I learned early in life is that after someone has blessed the mic, you don't go and try to repeat everything that they already said. And so I won't stand here before you long attempting to repeat the awesome words and the knowledge that was dropped on us by Attorney Presley. The one thing I know about this sister is that every time I hear her open her mouth, I get educated. I don't know if y'all listen to her on Roland Martin Unfiltered, on Fox News Channel, on every outlet, everywhere, and on her own lives that she does, but she is constantly educating black people. And I appreciate the fact that she shows up in places and spaces that are hard, they're tough, and, and, and seems